All right, hello, welcome back everybody. PayPal and Patreon are down below if you want to support me. Only do so if you actually can. So after nearly being completely wiped from existence by human activity, where it was at less than 1% of its original water volume, the Aral Sea in now Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan is being restored very, very slowly, but it is being restored. In fact, over the last few years, it has been brought from less than 1% of its original water volume back up over 2%. Now, granted, taking several years to restore each percent is not that fast, but it is still now, you know, a reverse of the trend that was seen over the course of time, as it used to be a very large body of water back in the day. However, Post-1960s, a huge number of water projects, water diversion projects, and irrigation canals in the Soviet Union redirected water away from the rivers that feed into the Aral Sea until it reached that low point in the previous decade, in the 2010s, where it was at less than 1% of its original water volume. Now, however, it is back up over 2% because of efforts by the Central Asian nations over the last number of years by predominantly reworking the various irrigation and water redirection canals and channels that were built in the Soviet times, as those that were built, especially the, you know, original ones, those were not really built with the best designed standards, and they weren't really designed in any watertight manner, some of them having water leakage rates as high as 75%. So the various countries through which those rivers flow have been gradually, at what speed they can, because they're not rolling in money, actually revamping those irrigation channels, sealing all the portions where water was just leaking off and flowing into nowhere, waterproofing entire lengths of the channels altogether, reducing the actual original starting point amount of water that they have to release out of the rivers into those channels, because more and more of the water that originally gets diverted from the rivers into those channels is now actually making it to the end, to the actual agricultural fields where it is supposed to end up, so that they can have more and more of the flow simply go along its natural pathway into the RLC. And the speed at which they are able to do this is picking up as those nations economically rise, especially Kazakhstan. So for the moment, it is still going at this slower pace because this has predominantly been the result of the efforts that they were able to do so far. So the results of what they are able to do and spend right now will start coming to fruition in, say, around 2030 or in the early 2030s. So by then, assumably, it might be back up to 3, maybe even 4% of its original water volume. And once we hit that point 5 plus years from now, the speed at which it replenishes its water volume, its original water volume, should pick up. And if it is God's will, perhaps even get to a decent rate of like an entire percentage point per year. But for now, over the last several years, it has been restored from less than 1% of its original water volume back up to over 2%. Geometrically, most of the replenished water has gone in to that top portion, the north portion, that looks like three separate lakes sometimes. As you can see, two different images, one from a number of years back, where even that portion, one of the last portions that had water left, was almost completely exposed to dry ground versus today where it is now where it is now completely covered by water again and that's it for this one so thank you everybody for sticking around and listening like you've enjoyed subscribe if you haven't already paypal and patreon are down there if you want to support me only do so if you actually can the link is in the description to a google drive folder full of docs with all kinds of different graphs charts and data compilations that's available 24 7 it's free a link to my catch channel will be in the top end comment. May God bless and protect all of you, and I will see you all around next time.